Hey everybody, Hanku here with my review for Mitsubishi Colors Episode 3. And this was so adorable. This was the cutest thing. I am in love with this show. Like, between this and Kokoku and Citrus, all shows I really love, and then shows I love that I'm not reviewing Hakata to Tonkotsu Ramens. I have seen barely anybody talking about that, but that is a really good show. I'm really enjoying that. And uh, Hakame Tomikochi, I'm really loving that too. So there's a lot going on this season. Like, nothing that stands out as much as some stuff in previous seasons, but I'm watching 19 shows, and with the exception of maybe one of them, I'm still giving it a chance. Darling and the Frank, still giving it a chance. With the exception of that, all of them have been solidly good. Uh, none have been bad, barely any, or even what I would call meh. Most are genuinely good. Um, so yeah, let's let's talk about this. Uh, I don't know if I brought it up too much. I'm sure I said I liked the opening in the last review when I reviewed one and two. But I love the opening. I think, I don't know what it is, but the song to me is like both addicting and good sounding. But it, it carries the sort of feelsy weight to it too somehow. But I love the opening so much. Mostly for the song, but the animation with it works so well. Um... So let's talk about some things from the beginning. <laughs> One of the first things I have in my notes that I took while watching it was um, when Satchan pulled out her phone. It was so cute. I, I could not handle some of the cute things this episode. Um, <laughs> another cute and funny thing was when um, uh, Satchan makes the pun and Kotoa can't handle it and she's just cracking up. Um, and then later on, Yui makes the same pun, but they just both no-sell it, um, and they both ignore it. It's great. Um, so basically, the first mission this episode is they need to peddle bananas, because Satchan's mom owns a fruit shop. Yeah, like a fruit market shop. And they have a bunch of extra bananas, so they have to go sell them. So uh, pretty much, they trap everyone into buying bananas, and it's great. I love all their sales techniques. They were really, really funny. Uh, one of the best parts, though, is when the gang is like, Oi, why are you messing around on our turf? And it turns out the gang was just playing around with them the whole time. And, uh, like, such on using the banana guns. It was great. Um, so I loved all of that. Then they try to sell the last punch to Saito, and they have their police brutality scene, and, ah, oh, it was so, so good. And I keep saying, these are wholesome reviews. No lolicon going on with this show, not on my watch. Do not loot the hero lollies. And then they keep giving you these these lines like, oh, I'm going to eat nothing but bananas, or oh, my bottom's split in two. And I keep saying, no, don't do this. Don't, don't, don't feed into potential fan art, please. Please do not loot the lollies. So, um, yeah, the show, they keep, they keep feeding us those lines. And then they kept mentioned they wanted Choo Choo Cabrillas. And then the mom is like, guess what I got you? So she got them Choo Choo Cabrillas. And I think they're trying to say Chupacabras. Um, but they're these little costumes. And ah, oh, it was the cutest thing in the world. I could not take how cute that was. Um, I love that. And I love how the mom was like, oh, they're creepy. Like everything, bring like I brought it up last week, with all the characters, everything feels so realistic, where Yui just feels like a normal little kid would behave in these situations, like going along with everything everyone says, crying and getting emotional super easy, Sachan being completely distracted by everything, just going along with everything because she thinks it might entertain her for a second, making all these poop jokes. Everything just feels so real. Or, same, like I said, with Kotoan was reinforced more this episode, where she talks about, like, gore and blood and guts all the time, but when actually confronted with, like, the turtle and stuff, she gets scared and backs off, and, like, she doesn't, like, completely know about all the stuff, what all the stuff she's saying actually means. It's great. Um, oh man, and when they had the Choo Choo Cabrilla costumes, and they're going and banging on Saito's little police box, and he's just sitting in there at the desk watching while they bang on the door and yell to open it. Oh, it was so good. It was the best thing ever. And Saito and the old lady was so, was so great too. The scene where she's just drinking the coffee and she's like, you can't have any. Oh man, it was so good. I was dying. 
Then uh, the next mission they have is Pops makes them a, uh, or the old man, they call him Pops, and he works at the uh, shop he owns or whatever, makes them a bomb to defuse. So uh, the bomb's clue was the uh, meh, and they were like, uh, meh's eye. So they're like, we need to find the middle one. So they go around, and I like how th we saw the sign that they were talking about, the, what was it, the Amikuri or something, the sign. Uh, or Amikojo, something like that. We saw that at the beginning of the episode, and I love how it came into play later on as being the answer, of course. But they were like, where do we find an eye? We need to go to the underground, the black market. So they go to an underground shopping center because they think that's, like, the underground. I thought it was so, so good. Um, and then Sachan had all her scenes where she has the scene with the first guy, and she's talking about, well, that meat, when it was alive, it used to poop, and one day it'll be poop. One day everything will be poop. And then she goes on from there to go tell other people the same thing. And she's just trying to spread her philosophy. Uh, then at the end, Kotoha, of course, figure, figures the riddle out. And we end pretty simply like that. So uh, I thought it was so cute. I thought this, this show was just so great. I had so much fun watching. The colors are saving anime. And uh, yeah, nine Chuchu Choo Choo Cabrillas out of ten. I... I love this so much. It's so cute. And there's not much you can say. You can't go too deep into much stuff with comedy because it either works or it doesn't. But I think what works the best with the comedy and everything here, nothing is absurdist. Nothing's way out of the ordinary. All the jokes are like normal everyday things. Um, ordinary misconceptions that kids would have in these situations. All the jokes are just so very real and relatable. So, uh, I think that's what makes it even funnier and uh, even cuter. The main characters are great. So, uh, yeah, I absolutely love this. 9 out of 10. And, uh, yeah, guess that's it. Like, if you did like the video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of uh, this week's uh, video, what you thought of my thoughts on it, or what you thought of this week's episode, what you thought of my thoughts on it. Ugh, getting so confused. Like, comment, subscribe for more of this. Uh, covering Citrus as well and Mahotsuka Niyome still, at least for now, and uh, Kokoku. So, yeah, plenty of other stuff. Um, and, uh, if you want me to cover any other anime, I can maybe do it, just if you have any suggestions or anything you really seriously want. Um, follow on Twitter if you want, I can try to keep you updated there, stuff for the channel. If you want to link to our Discord server, just ask, I'll give you one. You can talk with me, more of us there. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you all next time.